How you doing guys? Hey, I just uh, saw two paintings today that really I believe um, illustrates the importance of seeking the kingdom of heaven and seeing, um, you know, like Jesus says, and finding out where we stand before God and why, you know, I feel like the Lord has put it on my heart to put out all these videos to help people pray into their destiny and, and the guided prayer journals that I've published to help people find their destiny and their purpose and their calling, which I'm, I'm going to leave links to those videos and prayer journals below. So, um, because I believe that this video, I'm hoping that it's going to be a motivator for people to really put time into that, which is really seeking the kingdom of heaven. But on this first painting, it's the throne of God. And you look on the right side and you see different groups of people that are, some are closer and some are further away. And the Bible actually, uh, um, talks about how level of closeness to the throne is a result of how a person as a Christian lived their life on the earth. And you can see some people that are closer, some people that are further away. And then on this next uh, uh, painting, you can see how also the last place is, is that some people won't even inherit the kingdom of God. And so this is really important looking at these two um, paintings and it illustrating where every single human being is going to be, whether they have, you know, lots of reward and they're close to the throne or whether they're, you know, least further away or whether they're not going to inherit the kingdom at all, like in this other, uh, in this other painting. Now, looking at this, um, Matthew chapter five, and obviously this is just an illustration. There are depths to, um, the levels of reward that we can't even comprehend. And so this is just to illustrate it, um, you know, and, 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 uh, just hopefully give us some motivation so that we will want to seek God and find out would we, if we were to stand before the Lord today, would we be close to the throne? Would our reward be great or would we, would our reward be little uh, in heaven or would we not make heaven altogether like this uh, painting says? And, and, and we can actually find that out right now. And that's what I'm hoping that people will do. They will find out where they would stand and they would say, you know, I want to do whatever it takes to step into all that God wants me to, to, to have. And, and if I'm not right with God at all and wouldn't inherit a game, I want to get saved and be right with God. And, and if I'm compromising in my calling or my walk with God, I want to step into all that God's calling me to. And so that I, my reward would be great in heaven. Like it talks about in Matthew chapter five, verse 19. So going through this, um, we look at the first a group of people here in this first painting and we look on the right here a little bit and we see the different levels and and you know obviously in Matthew chapter 5 verse 19 it says that some people are going to be great in heaven they're going to be great their reward is going to be great and I think these people um, could represent um, the people that receive a great reward because, you know, and you could also argue that closeness to the throne is a result of level of reward in heaven based upon Matthew 20, verse 20, uh, uh, Matthew 20, verse 23. A lady came to Jesus and was talking to him about and seeing if one of her sons can sit close to him in the throne of God. And Jesus, you know, she, he, 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 he said that that is you know that his father in heaven decides who sits close to him so it is a reality um that that you know some people are going to be close to the throne some people may be further away and and who knows that could have a level that that could be a result of the the level of reward that a person receives so that could be that first group uh people that are great in the kingdom of god now i just i want to say this too that this could really set a lot of people free 
Because if they, if a person sees and they pray into their, their calling and their destiny, I have met so many Christians that are so fearful of where, you know, if they're saved or if they're right with God and they walk in fear all the time. Going through and doing something like this would really give revelation. I mean, maybe they, they would sense that, you know, they're more right with God than they thought they, they were. Maybe they're afraid, oh my gosh, I'm going to go to hell and da, da 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 This can really set a person free. But also it could set the person that's that's not doing that well with God and not right with God and really show them that, hey, you know, I need to take serious this level of sin that I'm in, this level of disobedience, because, you know, it could literally steal my reward in heaven or or as bad as not even obtaining the kingdom of heaven at all. So doing this can really help a lot of people and also set a lot of people free from fear, you know. So depending on where they are in their relationship with God, it, it every person is at a different place depending on their walk. So going back to that, so this could represent uh, kingdom greatness, that first group. The second group, Matthew chapter 5, it says that, that there are people that are great, but then it also says that there are people that are least in heaven. So if we look here in the way back, we can see that people that are further away, that could represent people that are least in the kingdom of heaven right there and then um if we look in the middle there there's uh, there's kind of this um these people that are kind of in the middle here and that could even represent uh, uh, um, uh, a moderate level of reward because you think about it it's just um you know if you have people that have lots of reward in heaven so people that have very little reward, it would make sense to think that, you know, there are people that walk in a level, walk with God in a level of obedience, but don't walk in the fullness of what they're called called to. And these people right here, and that could represent these people right there, Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. And then obviously, um, the last level, which is this painting illustrates is that people that are on the outside of the kingdom don't even inherit the kingdom um and uh and it says that in uh first corinthians 6 9 it says do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of god that it is a reality that some will not even inherit the kingdom of god and where they stand right now that they would not even inherit the kingdom. So it's important for those people to find out if that's where they are. That is a very serious place to be. And if you, if a person is at that place or close to that place, they need to do whatever they, they can to get right with God. So, so that's why I believe this is so important that every single person on the earth, if they were to stand before God right now, right in this second, right in this moment, that they would be at one of these four places. They would either be, they would either be great in heaven, they would be least in heaven, they would be in the middle somewhere, or they wouldn't even inherit the kingdom at all. But it is very important for each person to take the time to find out where they would stand because this is forever. The way that when this life is over, wherever they are, having lots of reward or little reward or not inherit the kingdom at all, this is a um, eternal, that, that this is forever, that they will be great forever, they will be least forever, they will not inherit the, the kingdom of God, and that will be forever. So. It's important for a person to find out where they are and then anything short of that kingdom greatness reward, stepping into that is going to be the most important way in doing the things that the Holy Spirit is convicting you about and showing you and that the word of God is showing you to do so that you will, um, so that you, your reward will be great in heaven. In Jesus name. Amen. Well, I hope that encouraged you guys. God bless you. Take care.